once I have my fabric, um, my waistband double folded, um, so I did a quarter inch and then a one inch and um, ironed and pressed those down, um, I'm gonna make sure to put lots of pins in place so this doesn't move while I'm sewing. I am going to pin close to the lower um, fold, not up at the top. Um, when we go to sew, we're gonna sew along this lower fold because if we sewed up here, this would all just come out. So we're wanting to make sure that we are pitting right where we are going to sew. Um, that way everything stays nice and flat. So I'll go ahead and just pin all the way around the top of the casing on the wrong side of my fabric. I go to sew <clears throat> my the top of the waistband. I'm sewing close to the bottom folded edge, not close to the top um, because that will keep um, the waistband down. Otherwise, like I showed you guys before, it would just come right up. Um, I'm gonna sew an eighth of an inch seam. Um, and so that is very close to the needle. That's gonna be on the inside of my presser foot is where I'm gonna line up my fabric. Um, I'm gonna start anywhere on the casing, waistband casing um, that's not on a seam. I'm gonna make sure to start with my needle down and my presser foot down. Sew a little bit. And I'm just gonna continue around um, the entire top of my casing. When I get back to where I started, I'm gonna wanna stop sewing about an inch short. Um, so that way I have room, uh, maybe an inch and a half, room to put my waist, uh, my elastic into my casing. So I'll just go till that point, make sure to back stitch and finish off close to my last stitching. Um, so that when your waistband is finished sewing, it'll look like this, where it'll have a small opening for you to put your elastic through.